Now it's not just a dragon you have to worry about, there's a mummy in there too. Clank, the mummy's cursed. All right, welcome back to the Board Game Closet. My name's Jimmy. I'm Rod. And if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, click the button and subscribe, and we give you video reviews about board games and their expansions. And we use a simple one die rating to do it. We tell you if you should buy it, play it, or hate it. Green means go buy this expan expansion and add it to your collection. White means maybe you wouldn't buy it, but you definitely play it. And then red means you wouldn't buy it and you wouldn't play it because you hate it. Never touch it. <laughs> Never touch it. Uh, today we're going to give you our review of Clank the Mummy's Curse right up front and then spend the rest of this video telling you why. All right. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> He's deciding. Or he's right. trying to, and reveal <laughs> two, two, two whites. <laughs> now, we kind of got to start with, I guess, uh, what's our opinion of the base clank, right? Yeah. Um, uh, because if you don't know the progression of this game, it was clank the original. Right. And then they came out with a sunken treasure expansion. was a little bit of the same, but a little right. different. And then they came out with clank in space. clank in space. And now we're coming back to the mummy's curse. Right. All right, so in the original game in Clank, I couldn't even give it a green. So, I mean, that was, it was a white. Now, mm -hmm. I could definitely play it at a table when I would any time that it was out there. I mean, I wouldn't, we can play about that, but it was definitely not something I would have bought. Mm -hmm. Now, when it came to Clank in Space, on the other hand, I enjoyed that one thoroughly. I would buy that one. Yeah, I gave that one a green. I gave the original Clank a green and then played Clank in Space, and I gave that one. Can I give that one two greens? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe a green, this goes to a white. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah. Yeah, and I guess that's probably true. If yeah. I could go back and change that writing, I'd probably make Clank uh, a white and tell you to go buy Clank in Space. And so, But now fast forward to Clank the Mummy's Curse, right? and uh, here we are again with two whites on that one. So. Right. Now, that one, this is really hard to re uh, review, I think, um, because what we're doing is, this, being that it is an expansion, right? Uh -huh. And an expansion in the first place that I would not have given a, a green to. And um, right, I yeah. guess I'm being a little hard on this uh, game because I do enjoy playing the game. Mm -hmm. I do like the way it plays out and stuff, and the map boards and all that stuff are good. And then with the new expansion, it... I'm not gonna say it's just the same, and it is, but I mean, but the I, I believe that the map boards are much better than before. They look kind of the same, but they're more colorful. The design looks better, that type of thing. So, and the pieces and stuff are still the same. The artwork is good, mm -hmm. but um, it's still a game in which um, it does. It, it, I'm not gonna go out and buy Clank and then this one. Right. I'll stick with the space one, mm -hmm. and I'm not really sure if it's fair for us to compare it that way, but. That's where I sit with it. Right. And I think I'm kind of somewhere in, in along that same lines, too. Right. I think there are two different sets of people, right? There's the people that like Clank, and then there's the people that like Clank in Space. Right. And so there are some people that didn't like Clank in Space, and they liked the set board. They liked, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And so I've actually talked with people that said they didn't like Clank in Space, just give me more of the base game. Sure. And so that's what they've done. So I guess that might be the place to start with that. This review is if you like to clank, but not clank in space, then you're probably going to like the mummy's curse. Right. Um, so that might be green for you. So let's talk, I guess, about what comes in this expansion and then kind of how it plays. And then you can kind of see if this is something that's going to work for you or not. You do get a new two-sided board in this one. Uh, so that's two new maps for you to play. You're going to get a mummy token that moves around the board. And this is triggered by cards that you play and by cards that come out onto the board. Right. And so there are some arrive cards. And when that card arrives, you're going to roll this die and he moves to a new section of the board. There's four sections on the board, and every time you roll the die, he's going to go to a new a new location. And you interact with the mummy when you are in his section. So they give you a new card, kind of like the goblin in the base game. This is a new card with the mummy that you can attack um, on your turn if you're in the location where the mummy is. And if you are, then you get to attack him. You're either going to get coins so you, now he's going to give you money so i guess you punched right. him and he dropped some money <laughs> but um uh but you also take a curse uh in the game and that's something new that they introduced and now um when you cross over some of these locations you're not only going to have to fight monsters like in the normal one but you're also going to acquire curses that are worth negative two points at the end of the game 
Now, instead of fighting the mummy and getting money, you could fight the mummy and get rid of half of your curses. So there's an option there, and that changes by if you have two swords or three swords. And so right. uh, if you're where the mummy's at, you do that, and then that's really all that there is to that. Um, and then, of course, they introduced 40 new cards that you get to add into the base deck, right. and these are all pyramid mummy themed. Right. And so the artwork, the what it does, and a lot of these are pretty interesting, pretty uh, thematic for the theme, I would say, and they do introduce a few new uh, abilities that you could do on these cards, and so that's what you get. So it is, it's it's more of the same. Yeah, and and I'm not so sure that's wrong with an expansion, right? Uh, but I will say that it is more of the same. The, the artwork is is good, mm -hmm. like I said, um, but you're right, it is more of the same. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, I was comparing this the other day to Ticket to Ride, how Ticket to Ride has all these different versions, and in each version they change just a little bit. You know, right. it's just a little something. You know, base Ticket to Ride, then you went Ticket to Ride Europe, and they introduced these little tower things, sure. and then they introduced these uh, underground things, I think, or fairies, whatever it was. I don't remember. Anyways, it's the idea that they changed just a little bit, but you could sit down and play and totally get it. Well, this is the same. Right. I could sit down and play. It's a brand new map, two sided board so those are all the high points of it um negative might be that i didn't feel like we really cared yeah. about the mummy very much i mean he's moving around the board and you know do i want to spend my time fighting him to get rid of these curses i, I think if you added up a whole bunch of these right you know i was losing like 10 points I'm going to go out of my way to try to get rid of half of those. And but. you have cards in there that will help you also get rid, of the, mm -hmm. get rid of it too, which is what I try to always keep up with instead of even messing with the mummy. Um, you know, like when we're talking about the review on this, I, the reason I'm saying it was hard to review is because, so if you like Clank, then it, then it changes some. Yeah. If you like Clank, then I say, should go out and buy this. And the reason Add I say that it, is yeah. the price on it is a fair price point on mm -hmm. it. You know, it's That's low, true, yeah. it's not too expensive, mm -hmm. and it does add stuff, and it adds, you know, some new map boards, and you get a different colored dragon, <laughs> not, that <that's, laughs> not that that means anything, but it does it does add enough for the, for the value of the price, I would say, mm -hmm. and I think that the new cards and stuff do add a little bit, it gives you a different theme instead of the typical dungeon, now we're in a pyramid type dungeon and that type of thing, so it does change it up some. Mm -hmm. But I think maybe to to add the the period at the end of the sentence, I guess it would be, is if you if you weren't amazed by regular Clank, this won't right. change your opinion. That's not going to pull you. I don't believe it's going to pull you into it. No, uh, no. Um, so, but there you go. So if you like the base Clank, then you're going to want to add this to your collection. If not, then uh, stick with Clank in space. Exactly. <laughs> I'm right there with that one. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching this review of Clank, The Mummy's Curse. We've got a lot more reviews on our website, including the review about Clank, the base game, and Clank in space. So go online and watch those. And as always, support her. Support your local hobby shop. Do it. I can go get that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'll be good. We're yeah, now we're going to keep it. Support her. Support her.